Hey guys, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Today is a bit of a strange video, but um, I'm turning 24 in a couple days and I've just been doing some reflecting and back to school season starting and I realized like I was still processing a lot of my high school and university experience and a lot of it has to do with having very low self-worth and being in a, an abusive relationship and the type of effects that had on me and I know uh, usually my videos are very upbeat and fun and like pop culture related like I'm kind of removed from them but I felt just like I don't know I just felt like I should make this video and when I feel like that I'm like okay let's just do it I don't like to think too hard <laughs> about things because I think this can be really helpful and if I think too much about it I won't upload so here we are I wanted to kind of give you a rundown on what's been going on with me because I this all started by the way because I wanted to do an update on why I keep moving around like I lived in um, a, nor a town north of Toronto last year and I've lived there for like a while and I was thinking about buying a place in Toronto and then I dramatically changed my mind and I moved to San Diego and now I'm moving to New York so there's just like a lot of moving and not any explanation not that I owe anyone any but I started to think about it and I was like damn I've been running from a lot of stuff and I think making this video and just connecting with you guys will help me one get over it and two kind of be a cautionary tale a bit <laughs> about like what can happen when you don't value yourself and the type of situations I unfortunately found myself in. So I'll start off back in like 2011. That's when I started this channel. And I remember people would be like, oh, you're so innocent, like you're so cute. But in that time, I actually was in an abusive relationship that lasted a really long time. And when I would go on camera, you know, I would turn on my own personality. But when the camera was shut off, I was a shell of a girl. So what happened before I started my channel, I moved around quite a bit, so my childhood was like a little bit weird. Um, and I made some really good friends from four to sixth grade. And then I moved to Europe for middle school, which was crazy. It was a big change and a crazy time. But then when I moved back, I came back to the same area. So now I've been away from the same kids that I had grown up with from four to six back to high school, but a lot had changed. And I had like a soulmate best friend that I loved. Like, I really thought we'd be best friends forever. <laughs> and this isn't like, you know, crazy alarming, but we stopped being friends in high school and it hurt me a lot. And I really wanted that security of like having a real best friend back. And when I didn't have that, and I felt like not only like that we just like drifted, but I felt very disliked from all of her friends and excluded, I, Oh, I just started to focus on getting attention from guys. Classic. I was super awkward. And then I would go home and talk to guys on MSN and like say things to get their attention. You know what I'm saying? So I started to get a bit of a rep. I'm um, like laughing because like it starts out kind of funny. Um, I, it doesn't end funny. So I would say things online. Looking back, it was pretty innocent. Uh, not smart, but. I really wanted to feel some sort of love or connection. Honestly, I think that's why people behave a lot of different ways. It's usually the root cause. But yeah, I, I would say things. And it made me a very easy target to one, make fun of me. And also for guys to just say they got with me. And you know, if you read a conversation, it looks like I would. So I set myself up for sure. And I started to feel like crap because a rumor did go around that was so stupid oh my god but it didn't happen and I'd be like no no like that didn't happen and people would be like yeah it did like you're such a liar like you're a dirty slut blah 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 so I started to just be called a joke a slut you know annoying not that pretty like all these things and when you are really low when you don't know who you are like words have power man <laughs> like i truly just started to be like okay this is what i am and i started to act more promiscuous for sure like i was like well everyone's calling me this like oh well little easy a style for you but then uh my parents did see something online written about me i guess they like left my facebook open and they asked me about it and i kind of broke down and was like yeah like this is a mess and i don't know how to get out of it so they switched schools, like I switched to a private school. 
and I was invited to a party. There's a lot of details I'm leaving out, but uh, it was a like another prep school and I felt really cool and instead of being like, ooh, this is gonna be a fresh start, I was like, maybe I'll be popular this time, like maybe I'll be cool and maybe people from my old school will see I'm not such a loser. And that's just like where my headspace was. I, I was young, like happens. So I went to this party, but unfortunately I drank a lot. I mean, we all did. And something happened sexually that I didn't want. I wasn't ready for, like there was no, yeah, it was just bad. And I thought immediately like, oh my God, it's this early and I've just destroyed like my reputation. Like no one's talking about it, but in my heart, I just felt like, oh my God, like I have just done my worst nightmare um, at the past school. Like now if there's rumors that this new school will actually be true. And I was panicking and I thought, even though this guy clearly wasn't a great guy, if I date him, maybe no one will call me names. And it worked. I mean, I don't even know if anyone would have called me names anyway because I was at a really nice new school. Like, they didn't tolerate bullying there. But my mindset was like, well, no one will think anything of it if we're just like an item now. So we were. And I I knew it was bad. I mean, he wasn't a great guy. He cheated a lot on me um, and was abusive, like emotionally very abusive at that time. So I thought, okay, I know this is bad. But if I just kind of like, you know, let this all settle down and then I'll get rid of him. But when we would spend more time together, I started to confide in him. And the friend I was looking for became him. I started to tell him my lowest thoughts and I was feeling suicidal at times. And he was someone who had also struggled with that. So it was like, he understood and it was this like toxic dependency emotionally that we had going on, but then it was very bizarre because he would then go to parties and hook up with other people and put my health at risk without me knowing and make fun of me to people and this one person that I'm putting a lot of trust in now was also like making me out to be a joke so this just went on and on if you're with someone who cheats on you it's not just like oh yeah they betrayed me it's like no like they're putting your health at risk. Like just think of it that way and know you gotta snip the cord right away because I didn't process consequences or just how bad it was. I kind of thought I'm so depressed. I can kind of ignore that that's happening because at least in my low moments, I have a friend. Um, it's so sad. Like I I desperately, I could cry. I desperately just wanted a friend and I, I look back and I'm so sad for that girl. You know and I was on YouTube this whole time like making fun beauty videos and you would never know anything was wrong and, and I stayed in the relationship that became my new normal and it was just chipping away at my self-esteem and it took you know it getting like this continued into university but it took it getting um, a little bit physical for me to be like oh shit like this is this is bad. Um, so I did leave for a while, but when you leave like a toxic relationship that you've been in for a really long time, you also like don't know who you are. You know, you've had a lot of um, friendships that have fallen through and you just feel like completely lost. And when I say you, I obviously mean me, but like if you can relate then I am speaking like directly to you too. Um, you're just so left so vulnerable and I decided, okay, like back in the day, like, ooh, I was gonna have like a hot girl summer and party with my friends and it was gonna be all good, but I should have never been around alcohol, drugs, like casual hookups because I was not okay. And it opened the door to some really traumatic stuff for me that happened. And I won't go into details because I don't wanna trigger anybody and I, I don't, it's hard to talk about like any sort of sexual trauma. Like I remember something had happened and it took me a year to tell one of my friends what was going on and I had kind of like suppressed it and it finally was keeping me up at night and I, I couldn't seem to function. So I told her um, kind of jokingly, like as I am now because I couldn't do it. Uh, and she didn't really respond how I needed, which isn't really fair to put on someone who's like young too and not like a therapist, but it hurt me so bad that she kind of like not blamed me for it but like wondered what I did for that to happen and 
seemed to like have the person's back a little bit. I don't blame her. Um, I don't think she's a bad person at all because again, like we're all people and we're imperfect. And if you haven't gone through something yourself, it's hard to understand the magnitude of how someone else is feeling. Like just kind of to reflect, I had a friend who had gone through something traumatic and she told me about it and I was kind of like, dismissive, um, resentful towards her for telling me because I didn't want to open my can of worms and I just, I didn't want to even talk about that topic because while I hadn't gone through like the worst of my own stuff, there was still bottled up feelings and stuff I, I chose to not process. So I just wanted to kind of add that in there. If you are watching this video and you've dealt with, you know, any sort of trauma and maybe you reached out to someone and it didn't go smoothly or and it made you like feeling even lower you know reach out to get some some help uh professionally and also like know that i understand and there are people who understand and have been through it and you're not alone um yeah i know this like <laughs> this got kind of dark um or just like heavy for like a high school video or like talking about university which on youtube i see a lot of it as like the funnest times and like people just going to pep rallies and, and having an awesome time and that just wasn't my experience. And that's not to scare people <laughs> who are going into it because it can be those things if you like respect yourself and you know your worth and you don't let <sighs> yourself get lost. I mean, I was so lost and it's taken me a lot of time to rebuild myself. Like that's why I, I like ran away. <laughs> I had friends in Toronto and I left really far and I kind of just cut people out and a lot of them are probably like why did she cut me out and it's just I couldn't seem to get over certain things I kept going back to this one boyfriend I shouldn't have I mean I've been in other healthier relationships but I just hadn't let myself heal yet and I have given myself a lot of time to reflect and even this year like I've made so many mistakes I got into a relationship super sporadically uh, because I am completely isolated here I don't know anyone and I felt like you know what if I go through the motions like of a relationship with someone who's kind you know then I'll get over it but what I've learned now is like you don't choose who you love like you can't just be like oh they have like XYZ that I'm looking for I'll just make it work like you can't force feelings um, or force yourself to be ready when you're not so where I'm at now uh, I've taken a lot of time just for myself and to reflect as I've been saying, just journal, um, understand like, okay, why I felt the way I have. And the things I've been describing like has left me with quite a bit of social anxiety. So like in work settings, I'm completely fine. Like if you see me at a meetup that I'm just like, I know I'm gonna meet some of you guys at, I'm very outgoing, like I, I'm myself. But if I'm on the street, let's say I'm going to the mall and you might see me at the mall, if you went up to me, you'd probably get a very strange version because I'm tense. I feel like I shouldn't be seen. I feel unwanted. I just, I'm so tired of letting these past experiences kind of control my life and control me. I just want to be confident enough to connect. And that's really what I'm trying to do. I'm like, just kind of hard on my sleeve. Like this is what's happened or like a little bit of what's happened. Um, and, and let you know about it and just try to talk because I haven't been able to. And it's crazy because I started my channel, like I've always loved pop culture and it's been my like healthy escape. I think like when I felt very low and like no one liked me, whatever, I could invest into friendships I didn't have. Like an H2O just add water, like, oh my God, that shows my savior. Um, and movies and just get excited about not being me for a while and that's, Kind of where my channel has like stemmed from is trying to bring that magic, um, recreate some of that magic that I would feel when I would be outside of myself. And that's not to say I don't like me now. I do love me now. <laughs> like I'm at a place that I've accepted myself and I'm really, really working towards fighting those social habits that hold me back. And if you're you're feeling that way because of insecurities or past or your past, like I hope we can kind of push through it together and find a way to find that confidence in ourselves and um, yeah, I'm, I'm starting over. I'm going to New York and then while that sounds like I'm again like running away, nothing bad's happened in San Diego. I just um, 
happened to be on a trip in New York and I reconnected with someone really special in my life and it kind of took me by surprise. Um, and now I am moving there, not, not just because of that relationship that I have, but also I do want to be in a big city. I want to force myself out of my comfort zone. I do have more friends there as well, so I'm not just going somewhere without any friends because it's clear that I um, am very content being alone and it's, it's bad. I, I get very just comfortable in my ways and I, I feel like I really need to make myself uncomfortable to get more comfortable. Uh, yeah. So that's my update, really. I'm moving to New York. I'm very excited about it. If you've made a lot of mistakes in your life, or maybe you, you are not proud of who you were a couple of years ago, or last week, whatever, there's no mistake that's, that you can't overcome. Everyone's growing and learning. And I think, you know, if anything, I hope you can go back into the school year or go to university and not judge people a little more. Like you might have thought that I had it together these years, so these years if you've been watching me, but I was that drunk girl at a party who was acting crazy and I was just masking a lot and it took me a lot of time to feel like me again and I'm, I'm very grateful for you guys and the like amazing, amazing opportunities I've had. I mean, it, it was kind of weird, right? Like I would be just so fragile and going in public and feeling oh, just so tense all the time and then I would get to go to like Paris with a brand trip and it's just like that's coming up by the way i'm really excited but it was just such a difference of the things that you guys were seeing and my everyday feelings and i just want to put the love and time and effort that i do into content and and into you guys like into my everyday life and show the people that are in my life that i love them because i am closed off and be op more open with you guys um, and just let go of a lot of stuff that I haven't let go of. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, I mean, hopefully this video was okay. I'm such a mess. Like, I'm so rambly middle of the night, but I just couldn't sleep. And I've been thinking about this all day. So, here we are with this video. But, um, yeah. I will see you guys in my next regular one. Bye, guys.